man, you go crazy. So can you tell us like when the things kind of like start to change? You know what I'm saying? Because you know what goes up must come down. You feel um, the bittersweet part of things. Uh, I don't know what actually. I mean, I don't know the the powers that be at the time between Dame, Biggs, and Jay. They know, you know what I mean, what it was. Like, we can speculate. It, things that I saw, I just saw the the distance between them. You know, Jay not coming to the office as much. Them, like, when you seen one, you seen all three of them together. So when I seen that separation, it was like, oh, shit. Is going on. Then you were, uh, you know, you hear shit. I'm having a conversation with Jay, and he was telling me that they was about to sell a label. I'm like, huh? Yeah, they was going to sell Rockefeller Records. Then it was just. We had a, a conversation where he shared to me uh, things that he felt as though Dang was doing that was detrimental to the company. It was funds being misappropriated, like using for personal use is a bunch of shit that shit that I felt as though, you know, could have got resolved through. I don't know. Maybe it couldn't the things that I thought that should have been resolved on a, on a different level. But uh, I kind of knew the breakup was coming before the breakup. Because you know, in in that quote unquote La Familia, that family atmosphere that we had, it just wasn't there no more. So I I, I remember sitting and telling, you know, the the, the the squad, state property, I'm like, yo, we gotta figure something out. It's about to be over. They thought I was playing games. And I told him, I'm like, man, this, this is about to be over. I just, I, I felt it. Then you had situations where, like I said, they just, you could see where they wasn't seeing eye to eye on shit. It went from Jay, Damon Biggs to just Damon Biggs. Then, Jay would be doing Jay. Then it was just, you've seen the clash between them. Mm -hmm. So what's the real reason why they was bumping heads? Only they know. Right. I can't speak, only they know. Yeah. But tell us how did it affect yourself as an artist under the Rockefeller Records umbrella? Shit, me, uh, it affected me a lot because that's what I knew. I'm Rockefeller for life. So I had a lot of legal issues during that time too. So the breakup the, didn't happen until I was incarcerated. I was away. I was in the feds when it was brought to life. It, it was really, it was over. It was over for real, cause it was it was it was over. It was over. Now I remember me going to court. I'm on trial for attempted murder and the pistol, and just how they was coming to the court dates. Like I said, it was Damon, Damon Biggs, and then Jay. Jay would come on his own. Just the separation was there, and then. Dame form, uh, Dame Dash Music Group. 
And then it was, it was once that happened, you knew like Rockefeller Records was no more. Yeah, it was over. So now I'm put in a position where as though I gotta make a decision. But I'm incarcerated. So I'm I'm getting the news like everybody else. I'm waiting for the magazine to drop. So I can uh, thumb through that. Cause when you ask like what's going on, everything was everything was good until it wasn't good. Right. So uh, it, it affected not only me, the employees that who, I mean, it was just, I don't know, I don't know. Cause looking back on it, you got these other, if it was just business, for me, it would have just been business. But it was more than business. Like I said, it was a family vibe. Like it was us against the world. Like. Uh, we always looked and like, damn, look at seeing other groups and crews break up and do shit. And it was always that ain't gonna never be us mm. until it was us. Then right before I went in, Dame did a movie, uh, The Death of a Dynasty. Mm. And ironically, all that shit unfolded. Like, it was wild, it was crazy. Yeah. Death of a dynasty. Yeah. So you say this was all tumbling or tumbling down when you was incarcerated. How long was you locked up? Well, right before I was incarcerated. That's when like, it started going south. Yeah. How yeah. long were you incarcerated for that attempt? I, I beat it. I, I Well, I had a gun in the feds, so I only wound up doing like a year in a day. Okay. A year. I got a year for the gun, but I had beat the attempt. Well, I got a mistrial. Then when I came home, I don't think I was home for a week. They locked me back up for the, the attempt and I had to go to fight it again. And then, then I, that's when I beat it. Right. Yeah. DJ, you go crazy.